Tony, tonight, a Target 12 investigators exclusive salary saga. More than five years of receiving a check without having to show up for work. A Cranston police sergeant is finally being taken off the payroll. We've learned that Lillian Rivera and the city have finally reached an agreement. That means she is no longer an employee of Cranston. Target 12 investigator Tim White first broke the story back in 2008. He joins us now live with the latest developments. Mike, this payroll controversy has spanned three different mayors and cost the taxpayers well over a half million dollars, and that's not including legal fees. But now Cranston Mayor Alan Fung says the city can finally move on. Sergeant Lillian Rivera, seen here in Target 12 undercover video from two years ago, stopped showing up to work at the Cranston Police Department in 2005. Court documents obtained by Target 12 reveal she claimed mental stress, accusing a fellow officer of sexually harassing her in 2003. The accused officer was cleared of wrongdoing by an independent investigation commissioned by then-Mayor Stephen Laffey. But Rivera pushed back, filing a discrimination complaint in 2006. One year later, with a new mayor in office, came a controversial settlement. Former Mayor Michael Napolitano signed off on a deal giving Rivera a one-time payment of 84 grand and promised to support her in her claim for an accidental disability pension for mental stress. This is where things went wrong. The state retirement board denied Rivera's mental health claim. That meant taxpayers had to keep paying Rivera while she appealed the pension ruling, meaning she collected 94 grand a year in salary and benefits tax-free. In 2008, Target 12 tried to interview Rivera. Miss Rivera? Yep. My name's Tim White. I'm a reporter with Channel 12. I'm sorry, I can't uh, talk to you. Year after year, the city continued to cut her a paycheck without her having to report to duty until now. It's had a long-standing history, a frustrating history for me, as well as, I'm sure, each and every taxpayer, not only in Cranston, but throughout the state. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung cannot disclose the details of the freshly signed agreement, but can tell us Rivera will receive six months of pay and health benefits and then is off the books once and for all. We're uh, bringing some finality and closure to a long-standing problem uh, that the city and the taxpayers have you know, had to encounter. While Rivera is off the payroll, she is still eligible for a pension. Her fight to get the more lucrative accidental disability pension from the state is still winding its way through the courts. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.